So Todd, we were just talking about guys like uh, Bryson DeChambeau, Matt Wolf. Matt Wolf especially does a very interesting move right before he hits the ball. What's he doing and why is he doing it? So that term would be called uh, a kickstart or a forward press. He exaggerates it quite a bit. One of the progression exercises we have for that is called the hover drill. I'll demonstrate that now. Hey guys, welcome back to the New Nine Golf Channel. I'm your host, Brandon, and today we're back at Golf Future YYC with Todd Halpin, who is the Director of Golf Instruction. He's also the PGA of Alberta Teacher of the Year. So Todd, we were just talking about guys on tour that hit it far, like Matt Wolf and Bryson DeChambeau. Did they do some kind of unusual things um, before they hit the ball? Let's dive into that and give us a little explanation of why they're doing this. Sure, so those are the guys that are really using the ground effectively. They're not swinging in spite of their footwork. Many golfers, feel like quiet feet are gonna be powerful and they're not. So today we're gonna to learn how to activate your footwork and do what we call a kickstart. You hover the club over the ball and you're gonna use your trail leg, your trail knee, to push the club forward like so. And then swing through. You're essentially developing a golf swing with three distinct footwork pieces instead of just two. So Todd, you mentioned there's three pieces to the kickstart. What are those three pieces? Well. The three pieces, in terms of how your feet work, involve some forward pressure, then backward pressure, you may hear it termed a weight shift, and then forward pressure again. It's very difficult to only do just back and through. So that little kickstart, or the hover drill, gets us that third piece. One, two, three. Okay, so the progression from the hover drill is just to start practicing the kickstart. You can use your trail knee or just your hands by moving the handle slightly forward like so and you start to develop what may be termed impact feel. When you push the handle forward and the knee forward, you start to replicate more of that impact position. Very cool. I'm going to give it a try. This. Okay, so in my head I'm just picturing Matt Wolf when he does that impact position. So you're saying club hover, start the club forward, back and through. That was great. Okay, so the drill that we're gonna be practicing for you guys watching at home, if you're on the range, like Todd mentioned, we're simulating that impact position. So it starts with the club hover, club goes past, full swing and through. And the second one that you're doing is starting your swing from that impact position? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, so go to set up and then really kick it forwards. Yeah, and go. So Todd, if we're working on this, why are we working on it? Why are the guys in the PGA Tour doing this? Yeah, great question. So we, I would call this a skill concept that does trickle into your technique. So regardless of your swing style, whether you're an Adam Scott or a Jim Furyk or a Matt Wolf with very different swings, you still need things like timing, rhythm, sequence, balance, those types of concepts. And so giving yourself a little kickstart can just get you out of that technique mindset and into a very rhythmic and athletic movement. So Todd, is this something I wanna do just with my seven iron or just with my driver? Or what do you recommend doing this technique with? Yeah, the kickstart really happens on every single shot. And I, I would argue that it's even more effective on the really, really tiny chip shots where we're looking at a two to five yard carry distance. At those speeds, the club is really influenced by gravity and can kind of droop in the backswing. So just giving a little kickstart can help produce rhythm with such a small stroke. In wrapping up this lesson, the hover drill will help you to achieve better tempo, rhythm, sequencing, timing, and all those intangibles that need to happen for your existing technique to achieve higher speeds and more consistency. Thanks so much for watching the New Nine Golf Channel. We appreciate your support. If you're in the Alberta area or Calgary specifically, hit up Golf Future so you can ask for Todd Halpin, who will turn you into a better golfer. Thanks for following the channel. We'll check in with you next time.